Hey, what's up? It's Chris Wicks here. Uh, I'm gonna go over some vape mail. I got a bunch of vape mail left over. And I'm gonna go over this one, actually. Uh, today I'm gonna talk to you about some vapor mail. Now, I'm really excited about this, because if it's what I think it is, then I'm gonna be pretty excited. Let's see, it sure is. Wow, Custard's Revenge. It's a 60-40. 60 VG, 40 PG, 15 milliliter, 6 milligram Nick. I want all you companies out there to start making 3 milligram Nick. If not for me, for everybody that's quitting. This is Vapor Mail, boom. I really like their bottles. Uh, they got the plastic seal around it, which is really nice. The standard, standard rubber, but it seems like it's the upgraded rubber. A harder rubber. And I'm not getting a rubber smell in the tip, which is really good. It really is good that you're not getting that um, overworked rubber. It's brand new, and it, it's really shiny. I like it. Uh, it's very vac, very. Um, I'm really impressed by just the look. I mean, this is how a bottle should look. It should have the nice drip, the no leak. It's got a really tight seal on this. Uh, I'm gonna have to cut it off. Really tight seal of this plastic there, which I really like this plastic. It does keep you safe, and it keeps things from getting contaminated in the mixture, and make sure you end up with a really great product. And that's how it's done. Their labels are real clean, put on straight and everything. Um, not a sticky feel to the label at all, which I don't know if it's important to you to go over all this stuff, but that's kind of important to me. So, uh, Vapor's Mill, I went over to their website. Uh, they got the Custard's Revenge, but it says nothing about what their flavor is like. Now, I don't know if that's just because I'm on the tablet. Maybe a full PC will have a little bit different. But with this Android interaction on the Vapor Mill website with no mobile in front of it, there's no direction of what it is. It doesn't tell you. It just says Custard's Revenge. So, I was really hoping for a description. Um, there's only one review on there, so maybe after this video, I'll add my review to their website. Um, but yeah, I would like to see a little bit more. Let's see, view details. It's $12.99 for a 15 mil. No, I'm going to put it in. Sorry, get a vape. I'm going to put it in this K100. I'll check it out. It's coming out like a, like a golden yellow. An R. Kelly yellow. Check that out. Bam, bam, bam. Nice thick blend, but not too thick. It's going to soak up nice. Oh, wow. That is the brightest custard I've ever seen. I mean, that is a straight neon yellow. Hmm. There's got to be some strawberries in there, I believe. And I don't think there's any French vanilla in there at all because I do not smell it, which for me is a positive. I'm not very keen on the French vanilla in my custard. It's kind of funny as the more we taste, I'm going to end up spilling this all over. The more we taste different things, the more we know what we like and we don't. And that's cool. It's all personal preference, you guys. Personal preference. That is the brightest liquid I've ever seen. That's insane. Can you see that? Look at that. Neon green. It's a really a warming. That's a warming juice. I like warming juices where instead of the liquid drop hits the tongue and just pss, like an alcohol or dried out, it really just hits it and kind of oozes over. So it just has a nice, a nice feel. It's definitely a custard. I think like all custard, it needs to steep, but that strawberry is really just making it sing. If if I may, it may not be strawberry. I could be lying, but this is what I'm getting. Almost like a like a yellow cake batter. A little light sweet. But for me, that strawberry smell is what I'm getting like crazy. It smells really good, actually. 
I'm kind of impressed. The only thing that's setting me off is how yellowed it. I mean, it's yellow. It's bright. It's so weird to me. It's like as yellow as my my tweezers. Let's see. Tweezerman tweezers, also great to use when you're building coils and fixing. Let's see how my coils do. I'm always adjusting stuff when I'm doing reviews. It takes me a while. You can fast forward probably through all this, but. Oh, I want to bet a battery in here. I am always fighting batteries. Someday, I'm going to get a decent battery. Pull it out of this. Decent battery. Might as well. No use half an ass and things for you. Yeah, a good battery really makes a difference on anything, everyone. So, invest in good batteries. Should take my own advice. It's really sweet, like a uh, like a strawberry. Um, what are those angel food cake with the whipped cream and the strawberry and the little creme creme brulee or something? Really, really nice. Really, really smells good. I hope it vapes as good as it smells. Check that out. Vapor meal. Custard revenge. That's a smooth vape. It's not a heavy. The, um... I keep seeing strawberry, but the strawberry carries on through the custard more than a heavier custard. And like all custards, it's going to steep. I, I really like this, though. This is a good vape. I'd vape this all day. I'd vape this till it's gone. It retails for what? $12.99 on their website? It's got only one review. Let's see what the one review who else is reviewing these juices? If you do try out juice, go to people's websites, put a review on there of what you honestly think after you vape the whole thing, and uh, it'll help us choose what to choose, you know? Um, I'm not getting much of it. Oh, here we go. Here's the description. See, I'm just a bad reviewer. I don't know. I always do my homework. Uh, custard Revenge has put us on the map of the vaping world. The complex flavor is a creamy custard and strawberry that will keep you vaping all day long. I knew it. Order a bottle and discover how good a vaping can be. It's kind of cheesy, but it's cool. It's got to be hard. Design a website. Um, so that's their description. Strawberry creamy custard. I mean, the strawberry is carrying the flavor quite a bit. Even on the exhale, it just tunnels the custard. I would consider this a strawberry vape with custard notes. It's got that little bit of yellow cake batter. I'm not getting too much of like a vanilla custard. It's just, just a custard. And it is creamy. And it is good. If I was to name this juice on my own, I would name it Frothberry. This is just a really strong strawberry with a creamy, frothy custard uh, second note to it. Is this juice bad? Not at all. It's really good. But I would consider it more of a strawberry vape than a custard vape, at least in a .64. Could be wrong on any other level. But in this, it's good. And I've been looking. I've been waiting to try this juice, too. And I really like how they do their bottling, their juice. Definitely, they, I could see how this juice puts it on the map. Um, but my personal taste is this is more of a strawberry juice with a custard note to it. At least in this, in my dripper, for me. And it's already kind of colorized a little bit. You can see how a little brown. It's not bad, though. I'm definitely going to be vaping this for a while. 
It is creamy, I'll give it that. I think the more you let custard steep, like always, the custard notes will come out a lot more. And um, the more you vape on it and condition your, your cotton and coils and everything to this particular flavor, and a fresh battery always does the trick, always make your juice taste a lot better. Sometimes even just a little bit of a worn down battery will make your juice taste a little bit less um, charged. Yeah, I would definitely put this in the fruit category. If strawberries are fruit, I swear I went to college. I swear I'm educated, but things like, is a strawberry a fruit? What is a custard? Please take research and time. Sometimes I don't do that. But I, I'm honest. I love it. It's just more of a strawberry vape with a custard overtone. Great juice, though. Really great juice. Thanks so much, Vapor Mail. This is Chris Wicks. Uh, stay tuned to my channel. I'll be uploading some more videos and more reviews coming up this week. So subscribe, like, comment, talk about it. We'll chit-chat. Thanks.